everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Ada. And this is that hallway after the boss, because this is a long level. Fuck! Also, I guess this is Deed to Wim, and we're, we're playing this still. I'm sorry, I thought this would be over. <laughs> I, I'm not remembering this stage either, for what it could entail. Do the radar usually show drones nearby? Because there's blue stuff. And green stuff usually means Nevik, and red stuff means acrid, so... Blue stuff must mean drones. It means drones. Because I keep seeing lasers. Well, that sounds loud. Hey look, a VS for you to steal. Monsters! Oh geez, they were ready to shoot you, weren't they? I mean, they didn't even see you yet. It's like, shoot! Shoot! Hey, these don't have a d defense. They're not even shielded at all. Well, somebody's having a party up there. <laughs> that one with the big old stompy hands. I don't know if that would be the correct way to call it, but who cares. I thought this looked like it had a missile launcher. I don't know what it is about. I like about the style of missile launcher, but it's severely... Uh, I think outdated is the correct term for that, like, type of design and use. I, I don't know how to put it. A 4 tube? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, the, the earliest I know of its usage in, of any video games is Resident Evil 1, and it was the rocket launcher used at the end to face the tyrants. Right. And so, and as a standard issue for a helicopter to just be carrying one of those around for some reason. Didn't they bring it along because the problems were gonna... So, Jesus, did you have more health? Damn. Ah, I see. So, my two enemies have teamed up to face an even bigger enemy. Actually, it looks like for once the humans are actually trying to fight the not you. Well, they immediately turned their gunfire on me. True. Right? So... Hey man, that's not fair. I'm trying to jump this mech. Leave him alone, you giant bully. Well, you got a shotgun on it. You can blast him or get the fuck out of here. Not, okay, that, that was convenient. I'm not sure how the hell's, but still. Uh. Nope. You go on the correct way, perhaps. Always nice to use a tried and true Joseph Joestar technique. Run away! I thought that was a secret Joe Star technique. Well, I only know for Joseph to do that. Hey, look at Data Post. I can give you some health to get the hell out of this mission. Might be a good time to grab it. Can't think of any enemies that can climb up here other than flying ones. I think you're okay up here in this area. The roly poly can't get you. He's stuck right now. The other dude's fighting things. So you can just kind of fly on out of here through that big door that was up there. Mm. I'm assuming that was the exit. Same here, which is why I worked my way over here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how do I get up there. Well, you see, if you look for that guardrail that's completely open on the sides, you'd be just fine. You just gotta fly over to it. Okay. See, Edo, it's all about... Well, that's not the direction, but whatever. You'll still make it. Another one. Neat. No reason not to. It's a lot of free tea energy. Because you just lost all of yours? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, well, this is a cheapskate deal! <laughs> I don't care if it costs month, time and money to use those robots. It's stupid. I hate it. These things must be really hard to control. I really like the whole movement of the gear things in the back. It looks neat. It's a nice detail. Like, it seems like it's not just a moving texture, and it's actually like a 3D model rotating. So, is this the... Yeah, it is. Okay. Ah, good. Okay. There are humans in here, just so you know. So, be wary of them just uh, unleashing the chute upon you. Oh, looks like you could have gone downward, too, to get through this area. Weird. Interesting. Neat. Other words that mean stuff. Hey, a truck. Th yeah, but... Oh, hey, that guy's in there. No. Oh, he had a rocket launcher. Fuck. Well, teach him a lesson. Use a shotgun. You can fire it faster than he can move. That was a weird way to say that sentence. See what I mean? Look, he's dead. That happened. Thought you would have learned by now, Edo. Things explode and they hurt. Usually when they explode. 
Oh crap, he got in here. Well, time to run away again. <laughs> I mean, if it falls down there, it's probably gonna fall over. Or it's yeah, gonna get stuck in the wall behind- oh shit! What? What? What happened? Did it actually fall down? I'm gonna <laughs> presume it fell down there. <laughs> it so... disappeared off the radar. <laughs> Where do I go? I think you need to go down. There's like no other way to go. Well, this is a lot of robots to use, unless they're here for show. Well, you can't blow them up. They're not used yet. Only when an enemy's in it. Or you. So, wow, yeah, these are totally for real. Uh, they look like they don't have weapons. Yeah, they don't have weapons. Which gives all the more reason to speed through with it and not fight anything. Well, I'd rather do that with the one that has weapons. I know. I'd do it too. In fact, I did do it because I've played this game before at some point. Are I think you. Sure? you I, I do think... you remember going through this level? Well, I'm trying to. I'm struggling to remember these mechs in a row over here. Shotgun. Like for all I know, they could have added extra stuff, but I like at levels that just fit in where they thought it could. Oh. I see. I picked up the wrong one. You what the heck? You can still pick it up. Uh. Okay. I know, you're right behind it, but you're also in front of it. <laughs> but no. Make sure of your odd fuck, kill it, kill it now. It sees you. Huh? It's the shield one. Yeah. <laughs> it's being pushed through the air. Because your machine gun is too strong. Oh well. Looks like I'm going with this. Time to fly. Don't waste your ammo, you can't do that. I was kind of hoping I can blow it up and get my guns back. Okay, but you can take those off as a person and put them on the floor. Did you forget you could do that? I was having trouble doing that with this mech, so I figured it would work. But well, you know there, what? Let's give it a try. There are 20 mechs around. You just got to watch your prompts to make sure what's happening. Let's see. Uh, Removal. Well, you can get it out there with the rest of them. Except that this fucker's looking at you from across the room. Okay, now he's not. What happened to your shotgun? Did it get blown up off of your other mech? No, it's right there. Uh, oh, okay. but you but you want a rocket launcher. So I'll put that there. Yep, that's how you do it. Weapon switching for mechs 101, except for the part where the mech can pick it up inexplicably. If I remember correctly, doesn't it work in Tatsunoko that he just drops from the sky and it grabs to put it onto its shoulder? Like, it just... <laughs> I, I do not remember. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh. There's a shit ton of spider tanks, too, with all their free weapons, but this is a better mech by comparison. Like, really, it is. I wonder if I can sneak by it. Probably. I mean, it's not like you get aimed good with the rush mode it's about to do. See, look what I'm talking about. It just happens. Oh, he's got rockets a bit. He's not shooting at all, but everybody's got rockets. Maybe they think I'm one of them? Nope. No, no they don't. They'll never think that. Don't you realize, Ando, it's one of those games. The only stealth is if you're just never seen ever, because they managed to not see you through walls. That they're always on alert. Yeah, it's the only way down. I don't see any other open doors. Hey, look, an even better VS, but there's a boss right there, so... Oh, I know who that is. How are things on your end? Destination in sight. How about you? I'm trailing behind a bit, but I should catch up soon. Wait, talk to me. Just a bit of unfinished business. Apparently we weren't in this Go on mech. Ahead and rescue Yuri. What? What business? A little sibling rivalry. Rick, take care of Luca for me. Uh, okay. It's Bandero. That was his name, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we totally didn't come with this mech. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, how's that light doing? Ow. You bounce back fast. Just like me. 
So tell me, what did Gale do to you? Something to do with this thing, right? You know what bothers me? What? I don't know what you're capable of, but you're an itch I can't scratch. I didn't care when I thought the experimental model was just that witch. But then I come to find that I was just another prototype. I'm just a worthless stepping stone for some damn kid! That VS belongs to me. I'm not finished! You're just like your father. Talking down to me with that same damn holier-than-thou attitude. The VS belongs to you, huh? If you want it, come and get it! I think you know where this is heading. VS fight? Have it your way. I'll come and get it, all right. Looks like it's time to retire your model. You know, Bandera, you could have shot him with your gun and this would have been not a problem. Well, it's a good thing there's 20 PTXs here to make this fight hilarious. Hello, giant EM attack. What the fuck? Oh, look, barrier shield. Too bad no VSs have those. Ever. Like, I'm remembering this fight because I know you had to fight Bandero at some point, but I forgot, like, a lot of other crap. Like, you know, this super long level leading up to this. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Sudden nukes! <laughs> well, you seem like you got this fight on lock. Just, you know, nothing really going wrong yet. He's got machine guns and there's a laser asshole behind you somewhere. Oh. Yeah, they are all around you. Once again, thankfully, there's a bunch of PTXs here. Huh. Otherwise, this would be an awful fight with no way to fight. Dang it! Uh-oh. Well, if you can get in real quick without getting hurt. Yay! He did it, everybody. He did the thing. Come on. There oh, we go. Oh, you're trying to melee him. I was like, what are you doing? I mean, it's working. It's just I didn't expect it. No, no, no. You gotta use the machine gun on him. Uh, I thought it was on the other button. Oh, it's all right. I know, it usually is the other way around. You see, rockets do big damage. Well, this fight's pretty much wrapped up. As soon as you blast him with another rocket or two. And... What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, self-sacrifice! You win. This part confused me about this mech. You supposedly basically destroy. <laughs> that's what in the mission. <laughs> like, that's the PTX that's yours that you need to get, but he just slapped on a bunch of armor. So you broke the armor. That suddenly should. That, that suddenly means the VS apparently is destroyed now. But that's not true, because then the one you need would be destroyed. So, I don't understand how that fucking works. They literally put on another VS on the VS <laughs> to make it stronger. Which, I guess, in fact, technically made it worse. It's not a very good aim with all that blood in his face. Of course, Wayne did just kill him by thinking about it. <laughs> you see, he used a rocket Rico, launcher. <laughs> did you find Yuri? Him, but he's dying, I guess. Wayne, get over here. Hurry. <sighs> Wayne. It's you. Did you find Yuri? That's where I'm headed. You better hurry. What about you? His father is the one who After a little digging around, some more things came to light. You were right. Ivan was just being used by Nevik. I see. Reinforcements will be coming soon. Come with me. No, I'll stay here and buy you some time. All right. Okay. I'm counting on you. 
Well, this seems largely pointless. Bias time for what? We're not being attacked currently. They didn't have to add her in this scene for any reason. <laughs> That's why Bandero is so pissed off. Your harmonizer is wearing out, though. There's a chance it no longer has the same functionality. Yuri found that out after joining Nevik. Which is why we need to get to Yuri before he dies. Wade. Just hold on. He's on his way right now. Oh, the attachment. Did it. Make it to him. Well, it did, but we got it here too, so. <laughs> you mean this? Uh, like he, we're I was kind of expecting me. Son of a bitch! That was for him. Can I release the full potential of this VS? Yes, it was designed for your harmonizer. It overrides the design flaw. That's why Yuri went to Nevik. However. Harmonizer, there is a chance something unwelcome might occur. Unwelcome? It could happen again. You might lose all of your memory. I don't care. I'll use it. I see. What's going on? Dying. Talk to you later. Hey, Basil, come in. Basil. Come on, you can't have her shoot off like one pistol shot and make one of the mechs. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> that too. All over. Our last hope. See, that her her harmonizer got broke, so that means she's already gonna My die. Time. Well, Dan, looks like Wayne's the last immortal. Well, better to be the only one than you can become a god. <laughs> no, name? Yuri. Oh, wait. You? Yes, it's me. I'm here. Snap out of it. <clears throat> I don't think he gets snap out of dying. <laughs> We can talk later, when this is all over. No! I've... That's very rude. <laughs> you risked your life to protect me. I will use this. And I will kill Heisenberg. What stopped him from slapping on on the moment he met Wayne? Wayne, I've entered the elevator. Where are you? I'll have to ask you what you just said in a minute. Underground. I'll relay our position. Got it. If you exit to the surface, you should be right in front of the orbital elevator. I'm gonna try to put a stop to the frontier system. Yeah. Can you do it? One way to find out. Good luck. Say, so what were you Wayne. asking? Damn it. I heard the talk with Basil. Please. Just be careful. I don't want to lose anyone else. Come back to me. Wasn't she, like, not even born by the time he was her age? Yeah, that's what I was making the joke about earlier, because it's funny that I didn't think about that, because I didn't remember that part. I think we're about to fly into the next mission without a save point again. No, never mind, that was a save point. Alright, so what was that question you had? <laughs> what stopped Yuri from slapping that device on Wayne when he found him? I think it's surgically imbued into his body, because they said it took an operation to get that put onto him. And what? 
That's something they brought up in a, befri- a previous thing. I it's mean, like, a disc that they just handed them to unlock the full power of his oh. Omnitrix or whatever it's called. Kind of well, supposedly, that's what, whenever he went to Nevik the way he did with, like, oh, he betrayed us and left to Nevik. That's where he made the thing. Ah. He didn't have it yet. And then he got thrown into jail. And then they met him again later dead, like, like we just saw. Ah, yes. Nothing like those dang plot aids, huh? Sure. I mean, he had a lot of bruises on his face, so they clearly did something else to him, but it might be hard to see the bruises and blood because of the weird shading on the lighting scene. Well, obviously, they injected him with plot aids before they just left him. Ugh. Saying that fate will decide when you die. Either way, this might actually be the finale, so let's go on forward to Mission 11. Take the moving platform up to the top and disable the orbital elevator to put a stop to the Frontier Project. The destination is clearly the orbital elevator, because, you know, that's a thing. The elevator is fitted with an advanced security system. It is also likely you'll encounter new cutting-edge Nevik VS models. Commandeer them and use any means available to ensure victory. Which is weird to say that when we need to take this particular VS to the final boss battle, so... <laughs> but, you know, plot, whatever, it'll do what it wants. It'll give us the robot we need, like it did in that cutscene. Yeah. I know. I've had daydreams about this stage. Really? For some reason, I always imagined that you drew, grew, like, giant blue energy butterfly wings that you started to, like, fly towards the elevator while the opening from Eureka 7 just started to play in the background. Well, there's no blue butterfly wings, and I don't think you're flying at this place. And if we are, then my mistake. Didn't he already put that on? That was the last thing. Oh, okay. You see, it just gets really good jet boosters. There's just no butterfly wings. But does day start playing? No, but we could do that with the Xbox 360's custom soundtrack mode. And boom shakalaka, we now have level 3 ultimate from Tatsunoko as our mode. This is the birth of that freaking fucking awesome ass move. I was so happy when it was in the fighting game. I was like, yes! And now it gets an actual head. <laughs> now our transformation into the Megazord is complete. <laughs> I am now and now. Well, enjoy your flying on. mode. LP 9999. Let's see. Ascend! Ascend. Laser Vulcan. EMF Blade. That's Left and right. Okay, well, first things first. Watch out for the big lasers. Laser also, you're focus. very fast. Also, you have maxed out energy for this mission. This is the last level. Once you get through here, it'll be the final boss fight. Combo like all of the times that you want to do. You know, hitting the triggers back to back. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll work. There you go. One shot. Dead. It is a gigantic EM laser rifle. I mean, blade. Also, I think it's funny that you're saying days because at the time of Rekka 7, that was my favorite damn flow song, and so replaying this final level with that music was perfect. So <laughs> you have very good taste, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and hey, what anime song would fit here perfectly than Humdrum uh, at Orchestra? <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Fly up into space through this elevator. I'm waiting to kill. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I got like a sword range blade, but then I have... Something that you're trying to do. It's lasers. Yeah, you only have mainly lasers. There you go. Okay, so I gotta give it like a little hold of a charge to do that. Otherwise, you just. You know, you just a little flat. Okay, I see. So, left is vertical and right is horizontal. Sure. Oh no, lasers. You can just skip past these idiots. They're too slow. They're grounded. They can't fly like you. You're too awesome. I mean, they can shoot you, but you got too much health to keep going, so what happened? I'm kind of wondering how my dash is like that. I don't know. It seems to be based upon just movement in general, from what I'm seeing. Congratulations, that was that whole level. Now here's more cutscenes. 
system has been disabled. Yes, I know. Deal with the pest problem and get that system running again. Yes, sir. How about the other intruder? I'll handle that one. Focus on getting the system up and running. Yes, sir. That's twice he's interfered with my plans. I grew tired of this game. Who is this guy? He's that dude that was a hologram, and then we fought the robot spiders for like an hour. Doesn't it feel odd that a guy we've only seen once is like doing? the final You're guy? Yeah, I know, it's, it's kind of weird. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Rick, prepare the trailer to receive Wayne when the time comes. All right. Just don't do anything crazy. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna put myself in obvious harm's way, distracting him. Don't worry, I'm fairly sure she doesn't die for stupid reasons. So, not, not at all. Well, there's his VS. It can also fly. So it's more ridiculous looking, too. And final boss. A third head? No, he can just open for some reason also. Here's the anime thing again. I'm gonna open the cockpit, thus susceptible to gunfire. I warned you once already. Mind your own business, or there will be consequences. <laughs> See, there is, it's it's great that this they actually do it. It's just their bad aim. Real deal. I'm done wasting time. You. Would have been uh, funny if you just tossed him the gun and said, now you, me. We gotta make sure that both of us aren't holograms. <laughs> Alright, now do final boss battle. Okay. Do it. I missed. So take a quick look at your awesome sky battle arena you're above. It's this localized city with this shit in the middle. I don't know why it's floating over nothing, but, you know, whatever. I didn't remember it looking like this. It's hilarious looking back now, not realizing you're just a floating city for some reason. Like, you can see the bottom of the world. <laughs> hmm. That's even weirder looking. I guess it's supposed to be a weird city on top of a mountain. So, what's that weird orb? Is that him? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, you can just throw a homing laser. What the fuck? Okay, left fires some quick shots, while right will just throw one of those. Yep. And I gotta hold him a bit to actually do stuff like that. Yeah, that one's really powerful. You'd want to do that one. But you gotta get in close. Are that. Look at him doing his weird swoopity swaps. Kill him! Kill him, Ado! And... Given everything else you've done in this game, isn't this now the coolest thing you've ever done? <laughs> yes, now it's even more like Zone of the Enders. So let's just put that theme in place of any music or audio. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. If I tap once, I'll ascend or descend, and by tapping it again, I'll stop doing that. Otherwise, it'll just automatically make me do it. Watch out, he's throwing out his, his lasers that are connected from him. And... There's no lock-on system, so you're just gonna have to follow him with your own hands. And do that! Well, you got, a, you got him, kind of. There you go, that's some damage. Then... You must begin to end him before he does you, since he's doing a lot of damage. There's also the time limit. Oh, never forget the time limit. That's always there. You just kind of follow the sky or explode. I forget which one comes first. One, two, and... There you go. That giant laser's got floating around him is reminding me of, like, uh, like a, a, a space battleship or something like a... Like it's something out of Gundam, like a white base or whatever, but much smaller. Boy, how he is doing the damage to you. Right, 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 you know, when you're trying stuff out. Also, it's a yeah. good thing he has, like, no vertical. Yeah, other than his bombs and shit, which he's nailing you with constantly somehow. Missiles, okay. Didn't know if you saw him. I know they're bright as hell, but... And... Well, you missed. Yeah. Stop with that giant laser cannon! <laughs> well, so much for dodging it. 
Now you try that again, you kill him better this time. Bye. That is him, yeah? Yeah. I like his opening phases. Look at me, I'm a triple triangle laser shooter, because this mech is weird. See, he's doing whatever the fuck that was. Now to quote Joe Swanson, and you get in there, and you kick that fish's ass! I mean, it's not a fish, but whatever fucking look, he's being, being weird. I thought it was you show that fish who's boss. No, you, you kick that fish's ass because he hands him a gun, and then he dives in the water with it. Because, you know, guns totally work perfectly underwater. I mean, technically they do, but it's not as good. I mean, they fire slower because bullets... One video game would like to say different, but that's not being real to how guns supposedly work underwater. Which was the bullets will actually work, supposedly. But in that one video game, they just didn't work at all. So you, you can load an entire clip of nothing, which actually makes no sense, because the bullets just shouldn't even come out then. Because, you well, know, the bullets... you just see, like, shrapnel floating up in the water? Well, you should just see the bullets floating. But it's an N64 game, so no detail. Boy, you're dying even faster this time, what the hell? <laughs> like, what's right. happening? Of course! My vertical and horizontal! Well, the blades have a very short range, despite how big they looked in the cutscene. So you're gonna have to get in real close to do the most damage. The hell is that? <laughs> Whatever it was, it killed me. Okay, so then just do that, and unleash some of those, and just wait for him to get... Oh, he's not even doing the thing. Not this time, it seems. If he's gonna get that close enough to do anything, he might as well just go ahead and end his life for him. <laughs> there you go, that's how you do the damage. You get in close, you see, and you attack him with the sword. I think that's a lock-on homing. Oh, well. Uh... I think horizontal might be a better. There you go, because then he's not going to dodge it because he's he because works. He at, can't go up and down. Yeah, so to say, he works on a horizontal axis. He has no vertical. If, if he does, it's to try and follow you, and that's all he's fucking got. I just realized he literally teleported that fucking gun into here from nowhere. That is how he's getting them. He, they come in from somewhere. That is not here already. Look, Coming you've already <laughs> really zone of the Enders in here. I mean, seriously, you're killing him faster than he can keep up with by doing this. It's hilarious. I think this is the optimal strategy. Not sure about walking into that barrier. I didn't know if it did damage or not. Oh, jeez. This is going to be cutting it close here on this one. You're doing better, but... Uh-oh. I think he's trying to melee, too. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Watch out for oh. all the missiles and lasers. There are lots of those. If you can just get... Oh, if you had him one more time, he would have been dead. <laughs> oh, well, fourth time the charm, or is this the fifth? I don't know. Yeah, uh, maybe if I haven't flown directly into the laser. Yeah, that can help. But he just needs to not spawn the laser onto you, so... I just and... realized you're knocking off the shielding of yeah. his tubes. See, there it goes. He lost two of them. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. Okay, I think I'm getting better at judging the distance at which I can use my melee. It's hard to do that when he moves, though, like that. Okay, so he flew through you and that didn't damage him. That's not fair at all. <laughs> Shoot the light missiles. Those do a lot of damage to you, actually. Too and... late now, they already hit you. Okay. Okay, he summons it and it comes from below somewhere. I hadn't noticed before because so much shit was happening. What the heck? He shotgunned you with that laser. Oh, okay. It, it was bad timing on his part and your part at the same time. Meaning he got lucky. As Ocelot might say, you were lucky. We'll meet again! And then he runs off with minus a hand. <laughs> so, kind of similar, actually, since you're removing parts of his limbs of his robot. Jesus Christ, you might want to try to avoid those lasers. I didn't realize how much they do. Especially when all of them hit. Hmm. Ah, darn it. That's when I got him cornered in a wall. No, that's not possible. He can fly. You see, you can only quarter somebody in a wall when they have no ability to, like, like go through you. But he can do that, because he's flying. 
Jesus. Robot mines and missiles. Well, you know how to dodge that one. He telegraphs it. But then he does that weird volley of lasers that fucking suck. <laughs> but he has a big opening to hitting him when he decides, like, I need to wave my arm to attack, even though he should do that inside the cockpit, not with the robot. But then I guess he wouldn't be telegraphing it, would he? Uh, okay, so... Good thing you dodged that. Jesus, that looks like Sentinel's move from Marvel's Capcom. <laughs> What's that even called, like, Sentinel Barrage or some shit? Damn it. There you go. Knocked him out of it. Do it again! Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. You couldn't even hit him with that. Do that thing where you hit him real good. Okay. Oh, I missed. Uh, just need to get... Where'd he go? I don't know. He should be on the radar, but be... dark blue triangles on black background is hard to see. I think you went too high. Yeah, you went too high. <laughs> okay. I could have sworn this battle was fought in space, but I think this is a two-part boss battle. There's more after this? Yeah, I like fighting him in space, because I could have swore you fight him in space. Ah, oh, that's weird. What? Why didn't I do my bait? You what? My you're... blade. Oh, I thought you said your bay, and it got me really confused as to what the hell that meant. Stop dodging! It's not fair! <laughs> you should really try closing the gap more when he's not shooting. He's doing the not shooting a lot, surprisingly. And then he does stupid shit like that, where he's like, I know, I'll dodge to the right! Fuck! He hit th he hit horizontally! I didn't expect that! Yeah. Get down! Get down again! Okay, you're good. Okay, I thought you were gonna swipe to the left on that one. What the fuck? How the hell did you not hit him? You're like right there. There you go. Hey, uh... Dodge, dodge, dodge! Well, I didn't do much damage for some reason. So yeah, just keep doing that. So he can hit you with his laser aiming fucking straight down. <laughs> ah, darn it. Well, you're doing good. Jesus, fuck. That in tandem with the other thing that he keeps fucking doing. You seem to be good if he never does that laser volley. <laughs> down, down. And... Okay. You're doing good. Just do it again. Missiles. Lasers. Ah. Wish I had... It would be pretty funny if Luca just drove out on a bike and it just transformed into a laser bit like one of those. That'd be crazy. Either that, she could be one of those cool Super Robot Series motorbike people and just try fighting the robot with while being on the bike. You know, like in that one Robot Super Wars game that we played that one time. That probably has some good context behind it. We just don't know what it is because we never played Gear Fighter Dendo. I mean, watch. Unless, yeah, yeah, we never watched Gear Fighter Dendo. I think it had an N64 game. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. It's just like, I think this boss fight should have been done by now. <laughs> I guess I just don't remember be it being that hard of a fight. But I guess as long as you get it done. Well, this seems to be working so far. Yeah, except when that shield pops up and invulnerables him, even though you're inside the shield. Where the fuck did he just go? <laughs> about to say like yeah and I didn't get him and then he disappeared and there were only lasers left behind getting close seems to be providing lots of trouble for you yeah I have an idea that could possibly help you out here uh -huh. whenever he brings out the lasers start trying to be under him and then using the vertical sword Okay. Because right trigger, I'd notice, is always vertical and left trigger is not. Otherwise, yeah, it works very good for this beginning phase, but then the other one, I'm like, I don't know what you need to do to help you there other than that, that. It looks like you're throwing off a blade beam when you don't hit him, which is weird if that's actually true. Yeah, but it does very little damage. Which is kind of weird. 
damn. Just out of range. And then he does that when you can't see him at all. You're doing a good job sweeping in between his attacks where he can't fucking do shit. Watch out, that's gonna hit you point blank. Or just catch right between. Missiles are hitting you like fucking crazy. Spinning's a good trick. I mean, you can't spin. Okay, so you need to shoot those missiles. They perfectly home in no matter where you are, and then they will hit. And do the good damage that always kills you. Okay. I can't see what the telegraph is for him to do that yet, so that's part of the problem. But luckily you dodged that move too. So spamming some machine gun would probably help, because you can't always block that. Oh my god, stop running away. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm trying to remember what boss I know does that, but it's not boss, it's basically every monster in Monster Hunter. It's like, okay, I finally caught up with you so I can attack runs to the entire side of Battlefield, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> and then it'd be that same song and dance for about another eight hours. Because it makes me wonder if they actually bothered to design monsters in there to the actual, like, fight. Because 90% of it is them running the fuck away like a coward, making you have to chase them. Now, like, not to mention they already have way too much fucking hell, like, because they're all boss fights. <laughs> And you don't do any damage that I can notice. Okay, so he pulled out the big gun really early and he's not using it. And I don't know what the fuck. Well, you're doing pretty good at reading his movements. If you can stay out of the range of him doing his volley of lasers, which is go with him in the same direction, then he won't fucking hit you. Hmm. Kind of hard to control it like this. Uh, yeah. Basically, we have one uh, thumb down on the fire button thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I gotta move the camera to actually direct myself. I think you just instantly blew up all of his mines, otherwise I don't know what the fuck just happens. Okay, so that barrier means he's invincible, but try it again. Is there like a lock-on button that's happening? Nope. It has a, like a soft lock that it does whenever I'm close enough. Okay, that's good, I guess. Well, you're above him and he can't do crap, so... Verticals. <laughs> oh, you barely hit him with the tip, so you gotta get closer. I am very confused what's happening in this fight currently. <laughs> he brought out the gun so early and then he's freaking out, it's really confusing. And I don't know what happened, but it looked like he invincible through all of that. And it's just phase one of a two-part fight? Supposedly. I'm not sure if I remember that now, since this seems to be ridiculously hard for you. And it really shouldn't be by this point, since you clearly seem to have figured out how to pilot this thing. Jesus Christ, did he just teleport? This bullfucker has still shift! <laughs> I remember when I was confused when I saw the terminology come up for Metal Gear series, and I was thought, like, what the fuck? Because there's a boss in one of the spin-off games that has zero shift, at least that's the official naming of whatever that weird teleport tackle attack he does. Mm. What the hell was that guy's name, Gene? Yep. Yeah, he had a move where it was, like, called zero shift, and he got really tired out when he did that, and then you're supposed to just shoot him in the head, like, 20 times. I was like, that's weird. I think you need to lay off the shooting in between trying to melee him, because he pulls up that weird green shield for projectiles. I think the game's confusing your gun, I mean, your sword, for a projectile. Despite the big range of that sword, you really need to get close in on that. At least you got him there. Now! He's not doing anything. Okay, he did something. Okay, there you go. He's like half dead. Nice job. Holy shit, that was a good sweep. <laughs> How the fuck did you manage to sweep downward and go into the vertical attack while moving? That was a purely genius maneuver to figure out how to do. Uh-oh, now he's got all the lasers. Yet he missed every one of them somehow. <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. I don't know what you're doing good this time with, but you're... he's dead. 
Like, you just suddenly sweep to the crap out of him. So if that's not the last mission, then you finally... Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that kind of gets... No one ever got the clear. Congratulations, you beat the game with 2,000 thermal energy left. I really wasn't sure if that was the last one or not. I really... What the fuck? When did that happen? <laughs> Steve! I guess I'm thinking that the last cutscene goes into space or something. I don't know. Fuck it. We, we, we beat the game, whatever. Let's just see the end of this one-hour episode, probably. Oh, it was in credits and shit and probably an epilogue. He's tired from fighting. What's that explosion? Just some fireworks. I'm in the system now. The real fun is about to begin. You okay in there? Just fine. I'll be in touch. He's gonna drop the colony onto the planet. There is no colony. This is the colony. Who's Wayne? I'm here. Something wrong? I've been trying to call you forever. Are you all right? Yeah. Sorry if I worried you. Ah. Are you sure? Nothing out of the ordinary? No. Good. I feel kind of dying though, but. Was this? It's Joe. I stopped the system. We did it. Good job, buddy. Oh. Oh. Great job. I'll rendezvous with you shortly. See you then. Who's Joe? Probably some guy. You might lose all of your memory. Ironically, he remembers that part. <laughs> now I'm just imagining he goes, "Where am I?" Wayne, what is it? Why is it so cold? <laughs> just won't stabilize. I'm still alive, you asshole. Fuck. <laughs> Well, that was close. I don't have much time. Yes, I remember. Wayne, Wayne. <laughs> Just a little more, please. Singer, I could never forget you, Lucia. <laughs> You know, he could take off the stupid thing now. He's not piloting the- he's not flying anymore. Not like this. It can't end like this. You. I forgot how to shoot a gun. You. See, now you- now you're just fine. Woman, you have guns in that car. Shoot! It's probably not the best place to be right now. Why didn't she drive closer to him? I thought she was close, so that's hilarious, actually. I must kill you. I'm gonna put everything I got into this gun. To end this. <sighs> Oh, okay. For a moment there, I thought it was actually gonna have me pull the trigger. No, we don't get MGS3 ending. It's been one year since it all happened. I decided to pick up where Yuri left off. By restarting the Frontier Project? Yeah, I was about to say, wasn't that the Frontier Project that was apparently a bad thing? So, all in all, this game took about... Uh, 32 years? 31 years, maybe. But there was that year time skip they had in between. Oh yeah, never mind. You're right. Kind of forgot. Sorry. Isn't this the place that had the giant worm monster? Hmm. How come she did get attached? For the harmonizer, 
Yuri left us a lot of valuable data tied to his global warming research. Okay, his was different than the other one then. With Rick's help, Probably. I analyzed the data and found out what Yuri was trying to accomplish. <laughs> a more saving warming sim sim uh, really? system. Seems to me you just concluded to blow it all to hell. Today is the first step towards that dream. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Looking good here. How about on your end? All good. Commencing. Great. It looks like they're synchronized. Yep. I hope this works. Is it gonna create some kind of super terraforming dome? They're exputing steam. You think oh, on a shoot? I was right. You see, Yuri's version of getting rid of all of the uh, ice problem was not to melt the whole planet and kill everything. I'm starting to see Yuri's dream. Also, it's somehow. A small beginning, but it's an important first step. I wish he could be here to experience it when the fruit of his vision is born. Also, Osama, despite that this is a pretty much always frozen area of the planet, there managed to somehow be perfectly fine grass under everything. I wish you could be here to see this. This is that same feel with the giant worm monster. It's amazing. Who are you? I don't know. Wonderful. I can feel the warmth. You did all of this by yourself? I'm sorry. I just never expected to see dirt or grass here. Are you? Me? Well, I don't know what to say. So some guy walking around. How rude of me. My name is Luca. It's nice to meet you. My name's Luca. Cool. And? <laughs> ah, I see. So she's reached that stage of the hallucinations. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Wayne's still alive. And he got, like, shot three times. Right, but he's still the harmonizer thing. It didn't stop working. He just lost the super limiter. Starring Lee Byung Hin. I think that was the voice actor for the main dude. Maybe. Hmm. Hey look, it's that guy that everybody likes, I think. That seems familiar. The guy that made Mega Man the way it was after the original creator of Mega Man. And then he left and tried to make Mighty Number no. 9. Hmm. Still not sure how that panned out. I need to get around to that someday. <laughs> I'll just take a few quick glances on the internet and I'll tell you how it panned out. I don't know. When I saw somebody actually explain what was objectively wrong with the game, I was like, you know, as somebody that wasn't exactly a full on Mega Man fan, I saw nothing wrong with what was being described for what was up with the game. Granted, still haven't played it yet, so I can't say much. I wonder whose description you saw then, because like somebody seen... who seemed exceedingly rational compared to anything that was just flagrant oh, hate with on. no. I can say anything crazy while still sounding rational. Well, I mean like rational <laughs> without saying like, well, it's bad because of this, but like, oh, so just because they didn't raise their voice. Well, it came off more like it's like yo, the reason why it's bad is because it's kind of like Mega Man, but not. And I thought that's what I was expecting from Mighty Number no. Nine. Like that's what I got from the overall description. But. Like that's Did what it made go everybody. Any detail? Like, here's what's wrong with the stages. Yes. Here's what's wrong with the super weapons from the bosses. It was more like a description of overall game mechanics. Of like, it seems like the game was more geared toward towards being a score run, speed run game, and you can't hurt bosses unless you do the dash maneuver. And I was like, okay. I. It, like, is that's that it? is that's that all they explained to it? Th that's what I saw. They seemed to be the major problem was like it's not Mega Man enough, so that's why everybody hated it. 
It's the thing about pizza explosions, which confused me, because I never saw pizza explosions for anything that I saw that looked like fire and stuff from trailers. Pizza explosions? That's what people called it, and I don't know why. I was like, did it? Did, did they just, what, did they actually get a picture of a pizza? It looked like it was a fiery explosion to me. Once again, all I've seen was those, er, those trailers, like, a little bit. And it was like, this looks like a game that plays... Oh, so the person who you saw doing a review didn't even have, like, gameplay to show as examples? Well, it was a text post, so not much to do. A te oh, okay. I just presumed you actually watched a video on YouTube. No. I didn't go searching because no ones existed that weren't just rants about how it's awful. <laughs> Usually a rant about how it's awful don't try to ever include yeah. reasons of why. Well, the videos I've seen uh, said, uh, like, you know, this is why blank is awful, or this is why blank failed, and the person, like, uh, with a rather judicious detail, showed off how, like, why this worked in original Mega Man, and why this so does not work in Mighty Number no. 9. And how they even set themselves up for it to work in Mighty Number no. Nine, but they didn't do it. Sort of unrelated to stuff that's sort of Capcom related, sort of unrelated. You know, this is confusing. The dude of Platinum Games said he had, idea had ideas for Bayonetta three and Okami two. But Okami Okami two's already out. No, Okami Den. That's not that's not a sequel. That's a spinoff, apparently. Says who? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Den means two. I don't know Japanese. I thought Ni meant two. It does. There's many different ways <laughs> to say one thing in Japanese. It's a contextual language, which is really annoying when trying to learn it. Well, as far as I know, Clover didn't make Okami Den, and that's that problem. Also, Clover became Platinum, so there's that too. So, so take for that what you will. That they want to be the team that used to be part of Capcom and make an Okami 2. Which means they do all the work and not Capcom, they just need the licensing rights to be able to revive their franchise. Which makes you wonder, why doesn't he have ideas for Beautiful Joe 3? Fucking finish what you fucking started, goddammit. <laughs> they could clearly do it, they have the money to walk around and do that kind of shit. Damn it. I mean, how do you set yourself up for a trilogy and not finish it? I don't know. They decided, you know what we should do? We should make four spinoffs of the same game. Which, that ended up being a bad idea, because then we have an unfinished trilogy. Still. Damn it. Four. I only know of two. I, I said I said three. You said four spinoffs of the same game. I said three spinoffs of the same game. All of them were Beautiful Joe Battle Arena, whatever, because they were all on different systems. But that means they had to make them different for each system so they'd work. Which is ridiculous. And yes, that's it. I guess I was wrong about an epilogue. Well, time to go online. <laughs> that's pretty much it. There's clean, cut, and dry. You can't even continue the game. We're fucking screwed. <laughs> no, you can do light mission slides and stuff at this point now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Lost Plan, everybody. I guess it's Colonies Edition. There was nothing different other than multiplayer. Okay. Which we can't touch because it's pretty much debunked at this defunct, defunct at this point. So, uh, I guess now it's just time to give final thoughts, huh? I guess so. Did you like it? No. <laughs> Aww. Like, I didn't dislike it, but I certainly don't have any liking for it. It's in that neutral stage to where if, like, if a sequel came out, I would get it just to see how they improved it. I'd say they did improve it. Can't say there's a yeah. sprint button, but I remember you move faster. Yeah. Like, it's basically reached the level of prototype for me. <laughs> to where... Not prototype and infamous. Yeah. You know, it's either going to be infamous 2 or it's going to be prototype 2. <laughs> hey, uh, I think it's cool now that uh, Ado now has the PTX in his repertoire. Okay. It's not all that great of a robot, really, but hey, you know. Really, it's the best robot, and then it gets the super mode if you're Wayne. Or the guy in Tatsunoko that's not Wayne. It's just, I think an eggs is better than uh, what a PTX has been able to pull off. Eh, probably. I mean, you can just take them anywhere with you at any time. It's like, you know what? I don't want to fight as a person right now, whatever they do in Xenosug. I don't remember. <laughs> take them anywhere, equip them with whatever weapons you want. Uzis, bazookas, miniguns, axes, swords, and dual wield that stuff. Speaking of Xenosaga, to try end off real quick, since I've said I've looked at Xenoblade X stuff, you could equip a shitload of stuff to Skells. It's just like, god fucking damn. 
the hell's a skell? That's what the dolls are called in the English version. Apparently it's short for skeleton frame, which means that they just called them doll frames originally. I'm assuming, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but there's like a shit ton of weapons, it's like, okay, so, shoulder mounted, side of shoulder, arm, in hand, it's like, then you could just do that on the other side, and then there's back mounted weapons. And that's- there's two of those, too. Okay, we're almost Gundam level. I was like, that's too much! It looks like too much, too. <laughs> then there's some women's that's like, oh no, it needs to take the entire back to equip this thing. It's like a giant weird-ass half-wing massive shield generator thing. Or a thing that I was like, what the fuck is that? And I'm just gonna call it the Phoenix Bomb. Because <laughs> when I saw what the movie looked like, they like jump in the air and then just a giant fire dome and it kills everything around it. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> To think anybody can equip that, since, as I've seen before, you can have a whole team of freaking mech suits. Hmm. Which, you'd think that'd be the overkill, but there's shit in the game that's like level 120, and you can't do shit to it. Which then made me wonder, HOW THE FUCK DO YOU FIGHT IT THEN?! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, apparently the strongest suit you can get is like 60 levels, and that's like the max level 2 apparently. And so, you know, mech suits the match it. So I have to imagine those mech suits can either be exceedingly fucking powerful, or there's some other secret tech out there you have to... You know, that kind of shit where it's like, well, you can buy the stuff, but then there's the impossibly hard to get shit that's way too god tier for even the ultimate boss of the game to deal with. It's like, you know, like you buy it and then there's like, there's no in between. There's no, you can fight it, or you can just raffle stomp it. <laughs> Perhaps you've gone on long enough. Maybe. I should probably leave off here. Oh, oh no. We'll probably, we'll probably shoot some criminals next time in a different game that we're playing next. So, see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later.